Pro. 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 Pro's most recent update gave us a lot of exciting new features and with new features comes new drop down menus. So in this video, I'm going to show you all of the hidden drop down menus starting with the new ones. So the first one I want to talk about deals with neural mix and there's a couple of ways to access it. Number one is in our features down here. Up to the top right, we have a drop down menu. And then this is for the really cool feature, mute effects. It's going to add an effect when you get rid of the vocals. So right now we only have echo. So there's a couple of different echoes that we can do. And it makes it sound a lot more clean and polished when you get rid of the vocals. So I'll show you an example. So it adds an echo to it and makes it sound a lot more polished and professional. If I take it off, then it just simply cuts off the vocals. So I really love the this new feature and I hope we get more effects, maybe a reverb or something, but for now the echo will work. And now you can also access that in this new drop down menu that we get. We used to just have a Neuromix feature down here that was always available, which was super convenient. You could do an instant acapella, instant instrumental, but now we get a drop down menu and we can do a couple of things. So the first one I want to show you is obviously the mute effects. You could turn it on and off right here as well. Just another way to access it, but you could do some more stuff. We could access our effects. So once you press that, you get another drop down menu and you could choose which effect. So for effect one, you could choose any effects from the huge list of effects for effects one, and then you could do it for effects two. Next is we get a beat skip. So you are always able to do beat skip, but you had to go through a couple of menus. So before it was the hidden drop down menu. So I'll show you that. So we're going to go to our cue points. So now we're in cue. And then if we go to skip, but the tricky part is there's no drop down menu until you press it. Now there's a drop down menu. You could do slice, skip, or edit beat grid. So in skip, now we could do the same thing that we do down here. So if you press the drop down menu, you could do however many beats you want to skip. And then you could go forward and back. This is great for if you want to set a cue point 16 beats in. But before, if you were just using this screen, you would have to go from this screen. So let's say we wanted 16 beats in. And then we'd have to go back to cue to set our cue point there. But now what we can do is we could use this feature so we could easily and much quicker go 16 beats in and then set our cue point there. So it's really cool that we have more features down here that are always available no matter what screen you are in the future in the features. And now speaking of cue, we get a really cool drop down menu. And then so now we have up to eight different cue points. But if we press these three dots, now we could go all the way up to 16. So you have the ability to set up to 16 different cue points, which is super useful. So that's a bonus because it's a three dot menu, not a drop down menu, but it pretty much is the same thing. But with that feature, now we get a new drop down menu options. We press the pencil button and go down. Now we have 16 different colors and I tested it. These colors will show up on your controller. Next one is here in the middle section. So we have this really cool, cool EQ section. You could have it volumes or you could have it with the EQs. And then there's a drop down menu. And now we could change the different features. So Nero Mix EQ, you could have an EQ where it's drums, harmonics, and vocals, or you could have a Nero Mix crossfader, which is really cool. Best way to use Nero Mix for mashups. And then if we press the drop down menu again, we could go all the way up to four bands. So you could do vocals from one song, instruments from another song, drums from that song, and it's all controlled with the crossfader. Next is going to be over here by our BPM. If we press this drop down menu, we could change the sensitivity, which is really convenient. So you could do bigger BPM changes, or you could edit the BPM. You could actually type in the BPM or or you could tap it in, like tap your finger to the beat, kind of like if you were drumming along in your car. And the next one is going to be in our waveforms. With this drop down menu, we could set slice, set skip. We can make it high contrast or low contrast. And then we could do vertical, horizontal. And then what's really cool is we could actually see the Nero Mix stems separated with this drop down menu. And when, once you do that, you could isolate it right here. Just another way to control Nero Mix. And if you want to see my if you want to see my full video on all of the new Nero Mix updates, check out this video over here. Thank you.